Officer? You, Officer, could I ask you a favor? Officer Zachariah Manser, a sight for sore eyes. Our hero, brave and strong. I like where this is going. <laughs> well, you know, you were just so nice, and if you wanted, if you had time, I know you're probably busy, but if you did... What? I'm just glad you came to see me. I was just thinking about you. Feel like you're maybe the only guy who could help me. Why? What's going on? I just don't have a lot of friends in Ophir. Never really had time for them, but one of the few I have, Abby Goodsman, owns a stall. She's a great girl. Lately, though, she's been scared for her life. Soldiers have been trying to extort her for serum. They tore down her stall and threatened all sorts of horrible things when she wouldn't pay. As an officer, I was hoping you could find out who these wicked men are and figure out why they're messing with a good girl like Abby. Please, I'm really terrified for her. If you're positive they're soldiers, that's weird. Yeah, I'll look into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew you were a good guy. You're not really like everyone else, are you? What do you mean? You kept a level head in the attack. The politicians lost their shit, but you kept cool. Maybe a hard life like mine prepares you for anything. Or maybe I just had more faith in your abilities than they did. Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a long story, officer. Not the happy kind. Don't want to depress you. I got all night. All right. Okay. You asked for it. I got left alone when I was young. Parents died, so I was forced out on the streets. One of a thousand orphans like me. Did a lot of stuff I wasn't proud of, but had to to get by, you know? Then I got lucky, and the center took me in. Gave me food and clothes and an education and hope. And a purpose once they taught me music. And confidence once they told me I was talented. So, when I was old enough to leave the orphanage, I got lucky and met some other musicians who gave me a lot of help. Ended up performing in some bars around the slums. Not glamorous, but I got lucky and it got me here. So, maybe the story's not so sad after all. I gotta go. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I've returned, Great Master, with the relic from the Aurora evacuation. It's a tablet filled with text, and I don't have a clue how to decipher it. A glorious day. You have no idea what this means, Zachariah. The language is indeed difficult, and most no longer have the knowledge or ability to understand it. Most, but not me. I will begin deciphering immediately. We will know soon enough the vast wealth of secrets it holds. Sean was certainly right in his appraisal of you. Your worth has already proven to be infinitely valuable. A word of warning, Zachariah. 
Word spreading about your mission. Things you've been able to accomplish, filled with troubling details that imply you have a mole in your midst. If there is an ASC spy amongst your ranks, he will not only know our secret, but eventually share it back to his master. We will, in no uncertain terms, be lost. All will be lost. So take care, and take care of it, sooner rather than later. Thank you for the warning. I assure you, I will get to the root of this. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Made the traps you suggested. Now they just have to be set to catch the locusts. Then I'll make sure they find their way to the tunnels. Keep the filthy things from reaching the surface and poaching our goods. And Lieutenant, thank you for caring. The poorest of us rarely get shown such concern. It's your lucky day. I need a favor, if you have the time, on top of the missions the captain already gave you. Depends on the favor. Soldiers back from the front are barricaded inside the warehouse, but they think Aurora's outside and they're in the middle of a war zone. They've terrorized the merchants, but honestly, that's not even the worst of it. According to internal reports, they're not just soldiers. They're test subjects for a new combat drug that increases their strength tenfold. Their paranoia is probably a result of the drug, but it makes the situation even more dangerous. I would prefer it if you could reason with them. You could use force, but in their state, the drugs could push them over the edge. A straight-up fight could kill them. First things first, we need to help get them quarantined and away from civilians to prevent further collateral damage. I know you're up to your neck in other responsibilities, but please. This is a favor for me and a favor for the guys. If the ASC handles it instead, I know I'm gonna be writing letters of condolences. Don't let it come to that. How does he think a noob who's not even a real soldier will be able to reason with a corporal hopped up on some super drug? He knows Technomancers aren't magicians, right? Pipe down, Lieutenant will find a way. Maybe we just need to find the Corporal's family to help talk him down. Look at me, <laughs> I'm just full of ideas. Abby Goodsman? Yes, I... By the shadow, please don't tell me that man sent you. No, your friend Nisha, the artist, sent me. Said she thought you were in trouble. It looks like she was right. I... Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're ruining my life. I'm being threatened by soldiers who tore down my shop. Why? Because they wanted serum I don't even have. And if I didn't give it to them, they said they'd denounce me. For what? I never did anything bad. Yeah, I believe you. You sure they were real soldiers, though? Could have been mobsters in disguise. 
All I know is their uniforms sure looked real, and their chief told me to call him Sam Ward. He's sick. You hear me? Sick. A brutal... Please help me. The threats keep coming, and I'm telling you, they're gonna kill me. I know it. It's all right. Everything will be okay. I'm gonna look for this Sam Ward. Talk to him. Talk to my captain about him, too. I'll get it worked out. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. Serum, sir. Got a drop for a poor war cripple? No, I don't. You gotta move it along, pal. Where you want me to go? One block over, any better for you? Listen, I'm sorry. I am. I get it. Life's kicked you in the balls, and you're just trying to survive. And if you were the only one begging these streets, it'd be different. But you're not. It's you and countless others making it really hard for the merchants to conduct their business. Merchants, who if I don't get you out, are more than willing to ask much less kindly. So I'm just asking you to move it somewhere else. Keep your fake pity to yourself. You're no different than the merchants. You care about the serum. Leave me alone. Serum, sir. Got a drop? No, I don't. Where you want me to... Look, buddy, you look a little worse for wear, and I feel for you. Really. I'm not in the mood, so... Let's just move it along before I lose my patience. What are you gonna do? Beat up a brave war vet who lost his arm on the front? I'm just trying to raise enough serum to... Don't say I didn't try to reason with you. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? What, do you want to get beat? should have left when you had the chance. I ain't got no chance or choice, mister. They already took my arm. Said if I left my spot, they'd take my life. What are you talking about? All I wanted to do was escape abundance. Have a chance at a real life. The kind I imagine every day. A life I believed the smuggler was gonna give me before he trapped me. Before he threatened to turn me over to the ASC for treason if I didn't steal for him. So I did. I may be poor, but I ain't no thief, sir. So after a few days, I told him I was through. He thanked me for my honesty, shook my hand, and made shake. Cut off my arm and threw me onto the streets. Beg for serum or die, he said. You feel big singling me out now, sir? Hello, Fiorello. Ah, our savior is here. It's, uh, wonderful to see you again. You seem a bit preoccupied. Things not going well? No, no, it has. Everything has gone very well because of your efforts. Let's just say that my leave of absence didn't help my business. Don't think I'm not grateful, friend. I appreciate the thought. What can I do for you? Who's the girl? She doesn't exactly look like a merchant. It is a good question. I found her tied up in the warehouse that we were dumped in. The poor thing cannot even remember her own name. Figure she must have family or friends around here though, so... I keep her with me, hoping someone might recognize her. Just banking on luck though. Maybe as an officer, you might be able to check and see if someone has reported her missing. I'm sure her family would be grateful, as I would. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Officer Manson. You are a man of endless generosity. Listen, maybe I can help. What's going on? You are too kind. I am so deeply indebted to you. Anyway, yes, I am a little worried. More than a little, to be truthful. Two of my regular clients, after the kidnapping, must have assumed the worst and just left. I haven't heard from them. No one but you, I admit, cared enough to come to look for me. That said, their merchandise is here, but 
I have no way of telling them I am back without the risk of exposing myself. I don't mean to treat you like my errand boy. I only ask because you offered your help. Anyway, if you could let them know, I could compensate you as well. One of them, I'm sure you know. The barracks quartermaster. The other one is a slums merchant. You know where the merchant's at? Of course, of course. If you have a map, I could show you. Bless you, man, sir. A thousand times over. Bless you for all you've done for me. Looky you. Glad to see you. Can't tell you how much your help was. It is appreciated. Well, things might have worked themselves out in time, but who has time these days? And you sure saved me the asshole. You're a Technomancer? I am. Zachariah Mancer. I'm lucky. In name and in life. You Mancers all stick together. Know each other real well, don't you? Know each other, maybe. But we're scattered between here and the front. Right, right! The front. Of course the front. So, uh, I take it you know where I can find, a. Uh, I believe his name is Master Connor? He's still in town, away from the front, training recruits. Lucky again. Just what I wanted to hear. Think you might be up to do me a favor? Either way, I'm here. Tell me what you need. Simple. To meet Master Connor and relay some information. With your help, of course. Without your help, well, being just a simple merchant, unwelcome outside the exchange, I suppose it'd be a bit harder. If not, you know, impossible. You know as well as I do, a common merchant can't just stroll up to the likes of a master. So, you get me in front of him, and I'll owe you one. How about that? I'll see what I can do. And I'll be much obliged. Mister, you got some serum, mister? No, I don't. And you folks gotta clear out. Let's go. We gotta... You gonna protect us if we do? No, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you think? We leave, the smuggler will kill us. I've heard the stories. Promised to help you escape, then made you steal, then cut off your arm and thanks. That's right. But more than just mine, sir. Many more. Know where to find this guy? Yes, sir. At the station, sir. But you ain't gonna get near him dressed like that, sir. He'll see you coming blocks away. Look a little more poor, dirtier. And you might have yourself a chance. I hear you. Thanks.
You the one that's been threatening Abby Goodsman? <laughs> really? What? That bitch complained to the great magicians? Great. Perfect. You know what she's up to? She's anti-regime, and she's plotting against abundance. True fucking story. Your little friend's a traitor, Mancer. Too bad your powers don't include lie detection, huh? <laughs> so, who cares? We put a little pressure on her, milk her a little bit before the ASC catches her. So what? She deserves it. All she needed to do was be loyal to the damn corporation that raised her. Watch your back. If someone heard about you being friendly with some of the oppositionists, like that girl, let's just say it won't end well. Master Connor isn't in the chapel. I think the Great Master will know where he is. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I'm looking for Master Connor. Any idea where I can find him? He headed down to the Underworks. Needed to get some supplies from our warehouses. If you're going there, take the elevator near the barracks. Opens up close to the warehouses and will save you some time. It's a real maze down there. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> 